Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out the first Moment One update for Windows 11 version 22H2, which was update KB5019509. Now, I did post on this, and um, I'll leave a link in the description to that video, as this update brought the first wave of new features um, for Windows 11 22H2. Now, um, one of the new features we were expecting was the taskbar right-click context menu task manager setting which is basically just a taskbar quick shortcut to launch the task manager and that didn't arrive with the moment one update although we were expecting it but now um yesterday i did post another a video um which i'll leave a link to in the description as well where microsoft is now finalizing the the next optional bug fix c release update for windows 11 22h2 kb5018496 which is currently in its final testing in the release preview channel and we are expecting microsoft to roll that update out um, over the next couple of days towards the end of the month now one of the new add-ons and improvements that was listed in the um, release notes for that next optional update was they've added the task manager to the context menu when you right click the taskbar but it's on a controlled rollout and when the update does um, make its way to windows 11 h 2 later on this month and the feature rolls out in the coming weeks according to microsoft now if you don't want to wait for the next coming weeks to get um, and enable the task manager shortcut in the taskbar um, there is a way we can enable it before that um, update does roll out and um, in this video we will just have a quick look at how to enable the task manager shortcut in the taskbar context menu in windows 11 version 22h2 using the registry editor to make a couple of changes in the registry to get that shortcut. Now, before we um, um, we make some changes to the registry, you need to make sure you have the moment one update installed, 5019509, else this won't work. So just take note of that. Now, um, the easiest way to open the registry editor to make these changes, I would just suggest, is just to right-click on the Start menu, click on Run, enter Reg Edit, and click on OK. Now we need to make a couple of changes to the registry and those changes I have um, I'm just, I'm just um, written out in a text document in um, Notepad and I'll leave all of these different changes um, in the description so you can just copy and paste these for easy access and reference. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to copy this and paste it into uh, the address bar of the registry. And I just need to override that one. And in the address bar, copy and paste that in as mentioned. So there you go. And then once you've done that, uh, you just hit enter. And this will that will take us to exactly where we need to go in the registry. And then on the number four, you can see it's highlighted. What we need to do here is we need to create a new key under that folder named four. So we right click on the four, new key. Okay. And then once again, we're just going to copy the next change. And this is what we're going to rename that key to. So new key and just rename it. And then copy and paste those numbers. Because we're renaming that key to those different numbers. And then just click on the right pane. And there we go. And now um, that, that name of that new key is 18786-9580. Now what we need to do next is we actually need to select that new key and uh, in the right pane we need to switch over to the right pane and then we need to um, create a new D word and give it a new name. So just right click new D word. Okay. And once again the new D, the, the new D word will be enabled state. So once again for easy reference just copy and paste it in enabled enabled state copy just right click on there to rename it and pop in enabled state and there we go and then what we need to do is we need to double click on it and change its value from naught to two so double click on it the value is currently at zero so we need to change that to two and then click on ok and then that's done and then the final step we have to do is we have to create another D word. And this time um, we have to name it as enabled state options. So once again in the right pane, right click, new. And we need to um, create a new D word. 
and this time enabled state options so once again I'm just going to copy and paste it in as mentioned copy and just rename it so we can paste that in paste and with that enabled state options um, you don't have to change its value it stays exactly as it is default and that's it that's all you need to do and then you reboot your computer and you will then see after you've rebooted your computer in most cases you will get the right click um, taskbar context menu task manager setting now um, first of all just to mention something before you fiddle around in the registry I always suggest exporting it and then if something does go wrong importing it back that you can import that back up and exporting doesn't take very long it, it's it's very quick and you can always have a safety net and import it back and um, before you fiddle around in the registry now once you've rebooted your pc um i took some screenshots after i actually made the changes just to show you that it actually worked on my machine and currently um i have no as mentioned no task manager settings so if i take go to some screenshots yeah we can see that after I rebooted, I had the task manager and that right click context menu taskbar task manager setting. There's another screenshot just with it in another location on the taskbar. And there, when I launched the task manager, and once again on the other side. So it does work, worked on my machine. And just follow the steps in this video, and that will just enable, as mentioned, the task manager shortcut in the taskbar context menu in Windows 11. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.